Deep Matter is a company that's digitizing chemistry and what that means for us is bringing together chemistry um, with technology to allow research and process chemists to be more productive in the laboratory and allow them to be able to discover new molecules more efficiently than they've ever done before. There's a globally accepted reproducibility crisis in science and that crisis is costing $28 billion annually in the US alone. Deep Matters technology is designed to address that reproducibility crisis head on by collecting data from reactions whether successful or unsuccessful with the same degree of fidelity and allow scientists to be confident in their ability to reproduce the science that they've done and the science of others. The digital glassware platform comprises uh, of both a software and hardware platform. And the software platform uh, is cloud-based, uh, and that means that a chemist can record their data from anywhere and share it with anyone within their organization or you know, potentially anyone outside of their organization as well. The software platform, uh, we can break into two parts. So there's a, a platform that the chemists are using in their write-up area to plan their experiments uh, and to do detailed analysis of the outcomes of their experiments. Uh, and second, we provide them with a tablet in the lab. And this is sort of different to anything that's been provided to chemists before. And it allows the chemists to get real-time feedback of their experiment in the lab as it's progressing. Secondly, it comprises of a hardware framework that allows you to connect to typical equipment that you might find in a lab um, via a series of APIs. And finally, we've got a very bespoke device, um, essentially a Fitbit for chemistry that allows you to stream data uh, throughout an experiment, uh, collecting sensors that are familiar to chemists, including uh, things like temperature, uh, but things that are very unfamiliar to chemists as well, but may provide unique and novel insights, so a video feed or sound feed sensor. Um, and that data provides a much richer picture of what happens throughout an experiment. So no longer are you just analyzing um, the final outcome of the experiment. Instead, you've got a picture of where the capricious part of the reaction might have actually occurred. Deep Matters Roadmap is to distribute and deploy our technology throughout um, the small molecule chemistry arena. In 2018, uh, we took our first steps on that journey to deploy to seven different pioneers representing the whole demographic of people that care about small molecule chemistry. And with that, we were successful in those deployments. We've managed to see, receive really a high quality feedback on the performance of our technology and the value that it's creating. Uh, and having successfully completed this first step and met all of our goals in 2018, we look forward to 2019 being the year in which we start to see wider distribution of the technology throughout the industry. In March 2019, we completed a £4 million pound placing uh, concurrent with the acquisition of InfoChem uh, from global publisher Springer Nature. That um, acquisition enables us to bring together Deep Matter's big data aspirations uh, alongside uh, a traditional and well established chem informatics platform from InfoChem. Chem informatics, uh, to all intents and purposes, is data um, aggregation, data handling. Uh, and data prediction in the chemistry arena. What we'll be doing uh, with uh, our big data platform um, and uh, the computational chemistry tools that we get from InfoChem is providing those to have an increased footprint uh, to provide products that benefit scientists, managers, technicians, everyone with an interest in improved outcomes in small molecule chemistry, and ultimately to build upon the established customer base uh, and revenue generating uh, capability of InfoChem uh, to grow and disrupt um, the chemistry industry uh, as it stands today. So in the same way that uh, Internet of Things is touching nearly every element of our lives, Internet of Lab Things is now prolific uh, within the life sciences industry. However, we are touching an area that no one else has yet made significant inroads into. We're trailblazing in chemistry, and what that's doing is allowing us to deliver a product which has been proven in the hands of our pioneers. It's highly scalable um, and is now able to be deployed into research and process chemistry environments uh, to make chemists more productive. Productivity uh, in the laboratory is affected by people, materials and the cost of energy and power. To make chemists or scientists more productive in their day-to-day -day working, 
ultimately will save millions, if not billions, of pounds for finance directors. Also, the technology platform allows access to novel insights that have never been available before. And those novel insights ultimately uh, will result in uh, new income for the pharmaceutical companies and life science range and providers. We've got a strong operational uh, management team um, with lots of experience both in data, in chemistry, in commercialization. We've got a credible plan uh, to deliver on our uh, ambition through 2019.